Hey guys, welcome back to Pokemon Leaf Green. In the last episode, we uh, we caught Moltres and we started Victory Road. It's very tough, so uh, I've decided to do some grinding for levels and money. Particularly the money, because that's really what we need. Um, oh crap. I need to buy Pokeballs. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Okay, now that we've done that, we can go down here. And I'm gonna catch this Snorlax right here. After we fight. Oh, we already fought that guy. Oh, and we can surf for this item. I wonder what it is. I don't know. Skill swap? I don't think I need that. Be interesting, but whatever. Uh, so we're gonna try to get, ooh, and oh, well, I already fought you as well. Did I fight you? Yes, I did. Oh, great. <laughs> when did I do this? <laughs> oh, I did this like, a bajillion episodes ago. Did I talk to you guys already? Yep. Okay, we're gonna catch the Snorlax, and I already know what I'm gonna name it, because the first one's name is Tumbly, and I want the second one to be named Wumbly. I should have taken Uwu out of the first slot for this, but that's okay. <laughs> You're so small. <laughs> this is gonna take forever. Um... Let's try... Let's try... What should we try? I don't know. Karama. Whatever. It doesn't really matter. I just don't want to murder you. Dig. Let's try that. Okay. I'm afraid the flamethrower is going to do too much. It might not, though. Now I'm drowsy. Well, let's do a flamethrower. Yeah, that's fine. Now I'm going to be asleep. And he might use rest. I'm going to try waking up the natural way. You're not using rest for some reason. If you use it right now, I'm gonna be upset. Okay. Ah, right at the worst moment. All right, fine. We'll play it your way, man. Oh, when it, oh, he's got the chesto berry. Oh God, <laughs> this is bad. Okay. Um. Just flamethrower you into submission. Fine. You can't wake up this time. Wake me up inside. Can't wake up. Wake me up inside. Save me. Save me from the nothing I've become. I love Evanescence. Completely unironically. I think Evanescence is a great band, and their new album is super good. I guess it's not that new anymore. It was like 2020 when it came out. But whatever. I'll just get you in the red. Oh, now you're awake again! Okay, let's try throwing the ball. I was able to buy seven Ultra Balls with the money that I had accrued. But unfortunately, that was a sacrifice for potions. And also, why did it not even shake once? What? I guess I really. Oh, I guess I really gotta put you to sleep. All right, sixty-nine, nice. You're up. I haven't seen you in a minute. Sixty-nine, nice. Ouch. Okay, go to sleep. Going to sleep my way. If I use all of my Ultra Balls on this, I'm gonna be very upset. This next one better catch. Oh, no, I don't like it. 
This might have been a bad idea. I might have just... I should have just killed it. Or ran away or whatever. Come on! This is actually infuriating me. I, I grinded up all that money in Victory Road and it's all gone. Like, seriously, this is, this is what I've... This is what I've been dealing with. Only two shakes, man! Do I have to lower your health further? Oh my gosh. Let me try cut. Yep. Mm hmm. Okay. No! We're doing it again! <laughs> it's gonna take forever for me to get back to this point, though. Alright, hold on. You know what? I think I thought of something. I don't feel great about this. But I have so many TMs I'm not gonna use. What if I just sell them all? Yeah. All the ones that I know for sure I'm not going to use. Bullet seed, I'm not going to use that. Look at how much money I'm getting off of this. Taunt. Yes. Rain dance. Yes. Look at all this money I'm getting. This is the move right here. Frustration. No, I don't want that. Thunder earthquake I want. Return. No, I'm good. Uh, Psychic, I want that. Maybe, I don't know. Brick Break, maybe. Double Team, no. Shockwave, probably not, but I'll keep it just in case. Sandstorm, duh, 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 duh. Fire Blast, I want. Rock Tomb, nah, that's okay. Aerial Ace, I'll hold on to this one, you're good. Secret power. Varies with the terrain. I'll just sell it. I don't think I'll use it. Rest, I might consider. Attract, no. Thief, no. Steel wing, I'll consider. And snatch, no. Okay, so now I have $20,000. <laughs> and uh, we're gonna buy some more Ultra Balls, but not a bajillion, just 11. And then... Do I want to go all hyper potions or do I want supers? I think I'll just go all hypers. I mean, come on. It's late in the game. Okay. That's, that's how we're going to do this. And I'm going to save my state this time, so... <laughs> I don't have to do all that again. Alright. We are reattempting this. This time I have 69 nice in the front of the party. So, we're going to attempt to do this in a more efficient manner than I did before. And I have way more Ultra Balls, so I don't have to worry about wasting a few. We're going to Sleep Powder you initially, so that you wake up right away, and then just do it again. Waste your Chesto Berry. And do it again. Good night, sleepy. I love that Snorlax being asleep in battle and being asleep in the overworld are completely different, even though they both they both imply sleep. Uh, How much will that do? Okay, we'll do that a few times. No, not yawn. Dang it, I didn't want this. <laughs> it's fine. Now we'll both be asleep, you prick. Except you'll be able to snore and I won't. <laughs> Alright, we woke up first. That's good, that's what we want. Whoa! Okay, perfect. Uh, just don't wake up right now. 
No! Don't rest. No! <laughs> you son of a bitch! <laughs> oh my god, man. Okay, alright. We'll play your game. We'll play. Cut. Just cut until you need to cut no more. Okay. Oh my god, really? I don't know why this is frustrating me. <laughs> it's just like, man. Why? Okay, can I outspeed here? I think I can, right? Yeah, alright. No! No, 69, nice! Make contact, please. You can do this. You're, you're more than capable. You're amazing, 69, nice. Everybody loves you. You're like the best ever. <laughs> Victory Bell. Always eating James in the anime. Which is hilarious, by the way. It's a good gag. Oh, I never talked about my favorite recurring thing in, in the anime, which is Jigglypuff. Like, everybody knows it's, uh, you know, Jigglypuff. But my favorite part of that, specifically, is when uh, Jigglypuff is, like, singing and then she, like, stops singing. Why only two shakes, dude? God. She stops singing and then everybody is asleep, obviously, because that's what happens every time. Um, and she, like... She looks around and then she just gets mad and it's like, Puff! and then she like expands a little bit in, in such a cute way. I just love it. I don't, I don't know. What, it's so adorable. I also didn't know that uh, the reason why Jigglypuff was. Fuck! Uh, the reason why Jigglypuff started following everybody around and singing all the time in the first place was because they found Jigglypuff. It was like Ash and Misty found it, and they were like, Jigglypuff, sing us your song, because they didn't know <laughs> about the horrible ramifications that would have. Uh, but Jigglypuff didn't want to sing, initially. And uh, the only way to get it to sing was to feed it this fruit that was on a tree that was supposed to have, like, throat-fixing properties. So they're the ones who caused it all by feeding Jigglypuff the fruit. <laughs> and once they fed Jigglypuff the fruit, Jigglypuff started singing and putting everybody to sleep, and then she would get adorably angry and uh, pull out the magic marker and draw on everyone's faces. And, and I'm like, man, that's such a good intro story. Are you f Snorlax? <laughs> We're doing it again. Now you've made me feel vindictive, so we're gonna just... We're just gonna brute force our way through this until it finally happens, okay? Because that's the only way we're gonna do this, okay? You're coming with us, whether you like it or not. Too bad. Oh, I was supposed to use Sleep Powder again. Whoops, I totally forgot. My bad! Now we're both gonna be asleep again. Dang it! Ugh. Ugh, supposed to do this efficiently, and we totally didn't. Okay, now stay asleep. Oh, this next cut is gonna kill, isn't it? Okay, okay. Now, we are in perfect harmony. You are at the absolute possible lowest HP, and you are asleep. So now is the time to get in the Ultra Ball. Now is the time. There's no other time but now. Now. Yes! <laughs> Thank you! <laughs> it only took three freaking tries. Uh, okay, yeah, your, your name is Wombly. Because you're a Wombly douche. Now I have Tumbly and Wumbly. Thank you. And this was actually optimal because if we saved all of our Ultra Balls for the stuff we're going to be catching next. Okay, so now it is time to put our tiny baby right here in the front. I don't know if I'm going to have... I don't know if there's going to be enough trainers to actually get all or even both of these polywags to proper evolution level. In fact, I should look up real quick what level polywag evolves, just so I know. <laughs> I 
<laughs> I picked up my phone to look it up, and <laughs> Voltorb is just like, fuck this, I'm out of here! <laughs> Hold on. Okay, so Polyvag levels up, or evolves at 25, so we should be able to get you there. At least one of them will get there today. Oh, level 9 already, nice. Hey, and we're level 40 for real, because we got level 40 off of Zapdos in a failed attempt. Okay. And we're gonna do this again. Okay, level 10, level 11. All right. Unplugged, just like Pearl Jam and TV Unplugged where he sings black, but he sings the second verse twice instead of once. <laughs> oh, good thing I have cut on me. All right, I'm gonna fight this dude and get this item. 13. I don't think there's gonna be any point where Ooh is gonna be able to fight for himself. I think all these Pokemon are too strong. And iron, we all know where that's going. 15. 16. You have already fought. So now it's just gonna be all these people. I think I want to put Happy Baby up here for this, just because. Sure, I'll play with you, sweetie. Oh, is this not a double battle? Oh, it's two trainers. Okay, I'm fine with that. Okay, during those two fights we got to level... 18. Also, you two are rich. I don't know anything about Pokemon, actually. The ones I use, I pick them for their looks. <laughs> Alright. What's next? Wow, your badges are too cool. Thanks. You got those badges from gym leaders. I know. Okay, that's nice. <laughs> next. My cute Pokemon, I wish to make your acquaintance. This son of a bitch right here had a freaking, like a Spearow or something, that new Pursuit. So it knocked out Uwu when I tried to switch it out. So I'm like, god dang it, now I gotta go back. What are you looking at? Not you, I was literally looking to the left. Douche. 23, we're almost there. 24, we're one away. I think we're about two thirds of the way through the trainers. Oh, maybe more, maybe, I mean less, whatever. <laughs> Have you heard the legend of the winged mirages? The hell is that? Well, the winged mirages are the legendary bird Pokemon. There are three of them, Articuno, Zapdos, and Moltres. Would you believe me if I told you I've already caught all three of them? Whoa, no way! Yeah, so, heck off. <laughs> I'm not into it, but okay, let's go. All right, whatever. Oh, shit, Uwu is evolving. Yay! It's Polly, but whoa. Kill my parents, kill my parents. <laughs> I'm hypnotized. Okay, uh, let's go get the other one. I think I already fought all these. I might actually almost be out of trainers to fight already. So, there's these guys, and that might be it. Okay, um, I got through all of those trainers, and oh man. I did not get to evolve Owo, unfortunately. So that's going to have to be a task for another time. Um, I might have to just start grinding on wild Pokemon or something. Or I could do Versus Seeker. Um, I think I'm going to edit the first portion of this episode just so I know how much footage I have before I go back to Victory Road. So I will see you guys in just a moment in your time. Way later in my time. Alright guys, it's me from the future of having edited the first half of this episode. Whoa, crazy. So uh, in the time that I've been away from filming, I also decided to take it upon myself because dude, look, we're so close to actually filling out the Kanto decks. Take a look. We are at 133 seen and 101 owned. There are 149 possible excluding Mewtwo and Mew. So I have a list that I compiled of all the Pokemon that I'm missing that can be obtained in this. So, Bulbasaur through Charizard we will not be able to get. Uh, Pidgeot, uh, thankfully, is going to be easy because it evolves from Pidgeotto at level 36, and the Pidgeotto that I caught is 
level 37. <laughs> so it'll only take one level to get it to evolve. Next, we have Ekans and Arbok are not going to be obtainable. Raichu evolves by Thunderstone, so we'll do that here in a bit. Nidoqueen and Nidoking both evolve by Moonstone, so we can do that in a bit as well. Jigglypuff. That is somehow the one that escaped me during my travels. Uh, it can be found on Route 3 in the grass, so I gotta go back and get that. We'll do that here in a bit. Oddish through Vileplume will not be obtainable. Psyduck and Golduck will not be obtainable. Primeape is catchable in Victory Road, so that's one of the ones that we haven't found there yet that we will get to eventually. Growlithe and Arcanine are in Fire Red only. Poliwrath will evolve by Waterstone whenever we do that. We also have to evolve that other Poliwhirl for another Pokemon trade. Kadabra is catchable in Cerulean Cave, so I was thinking about just leveling up Abra, but I don't think I want to do that. Well, actually, I think I do, because I kind of want to beat the Elite Four with a maxed out Pokedex. So if I don't have Kadabra, I'll be missing that. Alakazam will not be obtainable, neither will Machamp, because those require trading, and I'm not able to do that, unfortunately. Graveler, as we know, it's available in Rock Tunnel and Mount Ember, and I think we'll be going to Mount Ember for that because there's another Pokemon that is available in Mount Ember that I missed. Uh, Golem we will not be able to get, and then look at all these ones that I do have, it's freaking awesome. Uh, Shelter and Cloyster are not obtainable in Leaf Green. Gengar is not available, it's only available by trade. Hitmonchan I won't be able to get. Lickitung, you trade Slowbro on Route 18, I don't know why I haven't done that yet. Uh, oh, I think, oh, I did it in the failed take of that one episode that I did forever ago, uh, but we gotta do it again. Seedra should be easy, it evolves in, it evolves from Horsey at level 32, and my Seedra is level 27, so it's only five levels. Starmie evolves by Waterstone, and then in here, I didn't know what these were, but uh, I think this one is Jinx, for which you trade Poliwhirl and Cerulean, so we can do that. And Magmar is found in Mount Ember in the grass, so I there weren't very many opportunities to walk through grass, so that's probably why I missed that. In here are the three evolutions. I think I'm gonna go with Flareon, just because Vaporeon and Jolteon, I feel like, are more stereotypical. Nobody really goes with Flareon, so I think I'm gonna do that one. Because uh, I have a Firestone as well that I'm not gonna be using on anything else. Um, Porygon can be found in the game corner, obviously. This is going to be the complicated one, because Ammonite is level 5 whenever you revive it from the Cinnabar place, and it evolves into Omastar at level 40. So 35 levels of grinding I'm going to have to do before I even challenge the Elite Four. Uh, but we'll, we'll figure it out. And somewhere in here is Aerodactyl, and apparently I could have gone back for the Old Amber a while ago. It's at the Pewter Museum, but you have to have known Cut in order to get it, apparently. Uh, and everything down here is already done. We just need number 149 which is Dragonite whenever Dragonair evolves at level 55 and I'm thinking about that too because if I want to max out Dex I'm gonna have to get Happy Baby up to Dragonite level before the Elite Four so <laughs> I think I have a challenge ahead of me I think I'm gonna have to clear Victory Road and see how far I can get Happy Baby with that and then from there either start grinding on wild Pokemon or do the Versus Seeker I thought about doing the Versus Seeker right now or soonish, but apparently it like runs out of batteries or something. It like the battery charges while traveling, so it's like I should have been doing this along the way instead of trying to do it all right now. So I don't know how that's gonna work, but we're gonna figure it out. Okay, so uh, I put the list away when I need it. The first thing we're going to do, we're gonna round up all these little stragglers real quick. Um, we can do the stones in a little bit. Actually, let, let's do all the stones that I have now. So what do I have right now? Um, because I'm going to have to buy more from the department store in Celadon. Thankfully I have money for that. Um, let's see. Whoops. Let's go to the bag. No! Go to the bag! <laughs> uh, it'll be in regular items, right? I have two Moonstones, so... Uh, Oh, and I forgot to mention Wigglytuff also evolves by Moonstone, so I'll need to get a third one. Uh, but that's okay, we can evolve Nidoqueen and Nidoking right now, so we can get them out and do that. Let's do it! Okay. Let's do it. We got two Moonstones, we're gonna use them right now. So here's Sassy. 
Mustafa was used. I love the offset spacing. It's so funny. All right, let's go. Oh, I'm gonna turn into a Nido Queen. Oh my God. Ah, I've got big boobies. <laughs> You're sassy. Evolved into Nido Queen. Yay! And then we got one more. On Mr. Wallace over here. Moonstone was used on Wallace. Wallace is evolving. Yes! Let's go. Oh, this is so great. I'm like really excited to finally get this Pokedex thing done. It's really exciting, actually. <laughs> Yay! Nido King! Okay, uh. I also went ahead and took out Slowbro, because Route 18 is right over here, I believe. Right before Fuxia City. So we're gonna run over there real quick. Get over to... I believe the person is up here? Maybe? Yes? This person? Hello? I'm looking for the Pokemon Slowbro. Want to trade one for my Lick Tongue? Sure, man! Here, have Slowbro. All right, Hayden. Bye-bye, Slowbra. It was nice knowing you. Bring, bring. It really looks like the Eye of Enderman. That's Ender, comma, man, not Eye of Enderman. I didn't just butcher the name of that. <laughs> anyway, we got Mark. <laughs> I forgot that's what it was called. <laughs> Freaking Mark with a C. <laughs> the stupidest nickname ever. Isn't my old Lakita great? Yeah, it was so great you wanted to get rid of it because you named it Mark and you didn't want to change it to something else. I don't know. <laughs> Alright, anyway. Next. So real quick, let's check for what stones we got. Did I already go to the top? Yes. Okay, so we have a Thunderstone so we can use that on Pikachu. I believe that's the only Thunderstone I need. Yes, looks like it. So we'll just use that on that. Let's go, boys! And then we have a Firestone, so I'm gonna evolve Eevee into Flareon with that. Just to be optimal with our items. I think that's a good way to go about it. Okay, so we're gonna do those two real quick. Let's do the Thunderstone first. I can use it on Eevee, but I'm not going to! Ah, troll you all! Let's go, Pikachu. Shocker! Man, that's a throwback to episode one, isn't it? What? Shocker is evolving at level 5 or whatever it is. <laughs> Yay! We're gonna get everything. We're gonna catch them all without the apostrophe and the TH in there. Alright! Raichu! Yay! Alright, and next, Firestone, and then I'm gonna be out of stones, so I'm gonna have to go buy some more. Firestone was used on Eevee. Yay! This is so exciting. Yes, I can't wait to have a fully fleshed out Pokédex. Fuck yeah. <laughs> did it just do the <laughs> Did it just do the Tim Allen thing from Home Improvement? <laughs> I've never watched that show, but it's fucking funny. The, uh, <laughs> I can't even do it. Alright, look at these guys. <laughs> Next up, we are going to get out Staryu. Where are you? There you are. Patrick. <laughs> You're gonna be double Patrick soon. I'm excited for that. And we'll get our first Poliwhirl out. We'll get the second one to evolution level. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll trade that one off. Look at time. Mark. Mark Wahlberg over here. Um, I'll put you back. Let's get Bert and Ernie, because we need to fly. Where are you, Bert and Ernie? Bert and or Ernie. There you are. We need to fly to Celadon City and buy some more stones. I need to buy two water stones and a moonstone, and that will be for Jigglypuff whenever we go catch it. We'll do that here in a bit after we go to the store. 
Alright, meet you guys there. Are you the person? No, you're the TM person. No, I don't want you. I want you. No, I don't. <laughs> okay. There we go. We need two water stones. Oh, we can't buy a moonstone. Where can I get another moonstone? Can I get another one at Mount Moon? Huh. I'm gonna have to look that up. There's two in Mount Moon. One in Rocket Hideout, one in Pokemon Mansion, and the Joyful Game Corner, which is, I think you can only get it from actually doing the games. Oh no, that's that's the story one that you get. Uh, so I guess I missed one. Hmm. You know what, let's go Moonstone hunting. Uh, let's see if we can find it, because I don't know if I missed one in the dungeons I've been to. I think the most likely place that I missed one is Rocket Hideout because for some reason I feel like I didn't go through and get all the items. I could be completely wrong though. Let's see if I can find it. It's on B2F. It says it's in the northwest. That means I probably did get it actually. Yeah, it's not here. Okay, let's try the Pokemon Mansion. While we're here, let's actually see how much Porygon costs because I don't know. I have 60 coins. Porygon is 6,500 coins. How much do coins cost? 10,000 for 500 coins? <laughs> what am I gonna do? Am I gonna have to gamble for it? Oh my god, I think I might have to gamble for it. There's no way I'm gonna get 6,500 just by having enough money to buy. Oh my god, no way. What do you say? Oh, Jesus. I believe somebody said there was a, a machine that has slightly better odds than the rest, but I don't know how true that is. It's really 6,500 coins. So I would need... $130,000 to just straight up buy it. <laughs> oh god, what am I gonna do? <laughs> we'll come back to that. <laughs> oh, so the Moonstone in the Pokemon Mansion is a hidden item. I never would have found that on my own because I don't even look for hidden items most of the time, so... Heck yeah, let's go for it. So it's one square north and three squares west of the base of the northwesternmost pillar from the entrance. What? <laughs> um... Oh crap, no. Oh whoa! <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I can't get out. Oh god. No, please. Please spare me. Please spare me your injustice. Let me put on some repels while I look for this. I have regular ones, right? Yeah. Okay. So the northwesternmost. So wait. One square north and three squares west of the base. So here? Hey! Alright! Cool. What? Oh, it's because Owo's in the front. Oh <laughs> shit, it was, it was pointless in the end. Dang it. Okay, so that's done. Uh, we'll use that Moonstone in a little bit, but we have the Water Stones now, so we're gonna use those real fast. Water Stone. That's gonna go to Uwu. Yeah, we're gonna have ourselves a Ding Dang Polyrath. Let's go, baby. What does it even look like in this? Because we haven't seen it yet. I'm pretty sure it's just super angry. He's got one foot up instead of both feet down. Rrr, I'm punching you! <laughs> nice! Uwu is now Polyrath. You are no longer Uwu worthy. But well, that's okay. Next up is Patrick Star! It looks more like Patrick in the smaller icon than in the larger sprite. It does still kind of look like Patrick though, but not anymore. It's about to be double blue, Patrick. How terrifying. Yay, Starby! Very nice. You're Patrick. You've evolved into Starby. I love that it's, it says your and then the Pokemon's nickname. All right. So what do we got so far? Okay. Uh, next, I think we shall fly to Pewter City, which we haven't seen since... We were first there. Puta. Oh, I don't have uh, I don't have Victory Bell on me. 
Let me, let me get that back. Okay, so I got Victory Bell out of the box, and I also got Big Chicken, because I think that's gonna be what I try to evolve next. Uh, can I get it from, is it here? Presumably, that's where you cut at. Oh, there he is. The secrets of space, the mysteries of Earth. There are so many things about which we know so little. But that should spur us to study harder, not toss in the towel. The only thing you should toss is these nuts. Oh, seismic toss. <laughs> uh, water blue can learn it. Um, I don't know. I don't think I need it. We have two fossils of rare prehistoric Pokemon. Is it? Shh. Listen. I need to share a secret with someone. I think that this chunk of amber contains Pokemon DNA. It would be a shattering scientific breakthrough if Pokemon could be resurrected from it. But my colleagues just ignore what I have to say. <laughs> so I have a favor to ask. I want you to get this examined at the Pokemon lab somewhere. Okay. So we'll be flying back to Cinnabar for that. You can't sneak in the back way. Nice try, kid, but no. Oh, whatever. Do you know what Amber is? Amber contains the genetic matter of ancient Pokemon. There's a lab somewhere trying to resurrect Pokemon from Amber. Okay, great. <laughs> cool. Alright, let's fly back to Cinnabar. I wonder what the weird scientist is going to say. Or the weird doctor, whatever they called him. Is he in this room? Yeah. Here you go, weird doctor. Hiya! I am important doctor. Yes, very much so indeed. Here I study rare Pokemon fossils. All the time I study. You, have you a fossil for me? Well, that's what he always says. It's a fossil of Aerodactyl, a Pokemon that is already extinct. Resurrection will soon make that Pokemon live again. So hurry and give me that. Yeah, okay. I take a little time. You go for a walk for a little while. You late. Where were you? <laughs> he does the exact same thing again. Uh, nickname to Aerodactyl? Um, oh, I didn't think about this. <laughs> um, I think we'll do it like this. Just so, I mean, it still looks like it's named Piss, but... <laughs> I'm fine with it, because the why can't I, why does the pterodactyl not make noise when going to the bathroom? Because the pee is silent. <laughs> I don't know how I, I couldn't remember the setup for that joke, but all right, great, we did it. So next we're gonna check out Route 3 and see if we can find a Jigglypuff. I believe it was 10% odds if I remember correctly. Okay, we have ourselves a Jigglypoof. Um, I decided to have Oh, we'll fight all the wild Pokemon here because I, I think it doesn't matter anymore that I'm uh, whether or not I run away from everything. You know what? Let's try our Pokeball. Let's see if it works. Come on, Jigglypuff. No, oh, dang it! I wanted our last ball to be. No, say Jigglypuff. Don't draw magic markers on my face, Jigglypuff. We wanted to listen to your song. We're just captivated by it, and we fall asleep, as as everybody must. All right. <laughs> we wasted our last Pokeball, but that's okay. All right, Jigglypuff. When its huge eyes waver, it sings a mysteriously soothing melody that lulls its enemies to sleep. Yes, it does. What should I name you? Puff. <laughs> Oh, I gotta get it out of the box to evolve it. All right, hold on. Okay, here we go. Moonstone. Puff. I wanted, I wanted its name to stay relevant even when it evolves. What? Puff is evolving. <laughs> Check on me. I wonder if Jigglypuff, when it evolves, its sing is like not as powerful. I mean, the anime Jigglypuff specifically. I don't know. I don't think it ever evolves. Maybe it does way later. I don't know. Anyway, Wigglytuff! Yes! Alright, what's next? Okay, so I think our next mission is to go back to Mount Ember. But before we do that, I learned something about this Cape Brink person. And I think I want to see, just to see, 
if Water Blue has enough happiness to learn whatever its ultimate move is. Okay, let's see. Perfected the ultimate move of its type. Will no one take it for future use? Hmm? Hmm. Ew, that Blastoise. Oh, this is the one! This is the Pokemon! Yes! This Blastoise is worthy of learning my ultimate move! Will you allow it? Will you allow your Blastoise to learn Hydro Cannon? Yeah, dude! Let's do it! Hydro Cannon. Man, that's awesome. Let's see, how much power does it have? I don't even know about this move. 150 with 90 accuracy? Alright. Uh... I guess we'll keep Bite. Because we don't need Water Pulse anymore. Hydro Cannon, baby. Let's go. Uh, I wonder if any of my other Pokemon have... I didn't think I could teach that move while I still lived. I wonder if any of my other Pokemon have enough happiness for that. Let's see. Maybe Happy Baby already does. I don't know. Oh, do I have to... Or does she only do it to one Pokemon? No, okay. You just have to leave the house. That victory bell? No. Not happy enough. What about Happy Baby? Nah, Happy Baby's no good. Uh, I think I think we'll just stick with that for now. Okay, I'm gonna start breaking rocks. Hopefully we can find something. So far, no good. Uh, I've been looking in the grass. I've been looking in the rocks. I haven't seen anything. But I've been using Big Chicken to fight all these wild Pokemon. Oh my god, that took so long to find. Okay, now you can't self-destruct, you son of a bitch. I think Otto Ogo has hypnosis. Okay. We are going to water gun. Okay, stay asleep. We'll do it one more time. Perfect. Stay asleep. Here we go. Oh my goodness. That was an ordeal and a half. And we still have Magmar to find. Also, Big Chicken keeps dying to everything, so I haven't been able to evolve it yet. Rolls down slopes to move. It rolls over any obstacle without slowing or changing its direction. I'm just gonna name you. Rock Smash! Because <laughs> you were only obtained via Rock Smash. I literally ran in circles in this three rock spot for the entire freaking time. Okay, now to find gosh dang Magmar. Magmar cannot be found here. Ah, oh, sweet relief. Finally, Big Chicken survived against something. <laughs> Big Chicken is evolving, yes! Let's go, baby! It's gonna be an even bigger flying chicken. Hooray! Pidgeot, baby! Okay, now we just need to find freaking Magmar. I don't know how long that's gonna take. Let me make sure I'm looking in the right place. Okay, so it's in the base area. There's a 5% chance. So that would probably be why we haven't found it yet. Oh, my fridge! That's not who I want in front. There it is! Magmar, man! Alright, dude. See what we can accomplish here. I don't think I have any of my sleeping members with me. Oh, I was dead because of a stupid Fero with pursuit. Uh, Dragon Rage, try that. Let's 
sunny day. The sunlight got bright. The sunlight is strong. Does it hurt me? No. Uh, I think I'll just twist her until it's in the red. Oh, I'm afraid to do it again. Okay, I'll try Ultra Ball. I think that might be my best move. Oh no, I can Thunder Wave. I forgot. Thunder Wave. Should have done that from the start. Oh, I didn't think about it. But that's okay. Well, that like cut from the from the sound a little bit. That was interesting. All right, Ultra Ball, go. You're coming with us, Magmar. No. I don't want to switch to something else to try and weaken it. I'm afraid it'll moid it, and I don't want to keep spending a million years looking for it. Come on, Magmar! I might have to lower its health. Try again. Almost there, guys. I think uh, if we get a good RNG roll, we'll just get it. We'll keep doing it from this. Yes. Okay. Man, that took a while. <laughs> uh, its body always burns with an orange glow that enables it to hide perfectly amidst flames. Cool. You got Snoop. So, your name is Snoop. <laughs> Yay! Okay, so remaining on the list we have Primeape, Victory Road, Kadabra, Abra to level 16, Seedra, Horsey to level 32, Jinx, Poliwhirl, uh, Poliwhirl to 25. It's at 22 right now. Uh, Porygon, the Game Corner, and then Omstar, level 40 from 5, and then Dragonite. So. Seven Pokemon left. We are not too far from our goal. Cool. Let's get out of here. Hello, my friends. It's me again from the further future. Ooh. <laughs> I took a night of rest um, because I had to stop recording. And also, I wanted to see if I could figure some more stuff out. I started editing my marathon compilation of this playthrough. And I realized that I totally don't have an Abra anymore. <laughs> I traded that son of a bitch away to get Mr. Mime, I think. So, oh, well, first try. Oh, and it's the highest level possible. Okay, we need to get this. <laughs> uh, I realized I have to catch another one if I want to evolve it to um, Kadabra. So we're just gonna chuck an Ultra Ball and hope for the best. Perfect. Yes, <laughs> because uh, Abra evolves at level 16, so if I get one that's 13, then uh, it's only three levels. <laughs> little pussy's back, but it's a little bussy this time. <laughs> B bussy or bussy, however you pronounce it, it's like the worst word ever. I fucking hate it. I, I told one of my friends about it, and then he started saying it all the time. He's like, oh man, let me lick that bussy. And I'm like, oh my god, that's disgusting. <laughs> but I've decided to do a little experiment, because I've got Owo here. Because uh, I'm running out of Pokemon that I have to like actually go out of my way to get. We need to evolve some. So let's see if I can find some rematching trainers. And I think there's some right here. I just strained up on Mount Moon, but I still got gas in the tank. Oh, <laughs> I got a fart. <laughs> Remember that? <laughs> I thought he would say something different, but I guess not. Uh, but I want to challenge the ones that have rock types. This is not a rock type. I might be screwed. <laughs> uh, let's try hypnosis. I want to get Owo to evolution level so I can trade it for the Jinx. And then I'll have to grind on some other Pokemon as well. Come on, yes. Uh, I, I think the trainers right here are about the best level for Owo, so that's how it's going to be here. Let's see if we can do this. 
Come on, Owell. You're amazing. How much will this do? Oh, jack shit, man. Aw, oh, come on. Double slap. Oh, that's not good. That's like way too high level. And now you're awake again. And now you're gonna revenge me. And now I'm gonna die. God damn it! <laughs> well, it would seem I was wrong about everything. Uh, you know what? While we're here, let's get Lord Helix some experience. Because <laughs> we got a long way to go on this one. And uh, we will switch to Happy Baby. Because I also need to get Happy Baby some levels. <laughs> Praise be unto Lord Helix. <laughs> Consult the Helix fossil. That's what everybody would always say in the Twitch Plays chat. Because... During Twitch Plays Pokemon, they would have, uh, the Helix Fossil was at the very top of the inventory. So whenever they would try to, like, go into the menu for something, they would always just keep hitting A on the, on the Helix Fossil over and over. So it would be like, consult the Helix Fossil, then we'll figure out what to do. <laughs> it was the best. I, I really miss those days so much. I, I look back on them fondly. Thankfully, they have, like, a highlight playlist for all the best moments, or, like, for the key moments. All right, Lord Helix, what are you at now? Seven? Eight? Sweet. All right, <laughs> we'll focus on Lord Helix until we can revive over again. <laughs> uh, okay, Graveler, whatever. I, I kind of bummed myself out because I was like, man, I should have named Graveler turned Snacko because that's like the best nickname anybody's ever come up with for a Pokemon ever. Like, no joke. <laughs> like, how the fuck did Sleepy Dan come up with it? Like, just T-U-R-N-T, capital S-N-A-C-O. It's fucking genius. But, uh, that's okay. We're, we're trying to keep some semblance of originality here. Alright, Happy Baby, you fucking did it, thank you. Level 9? Okay, you worked hard, thanks. Pretty sure you said that last time. The Zubat bit me back in that cave. Okay, you're awake too, so let's put... Let's put Lord Helix at the front. And we'll put Happy Baby in slot too. Alright, let's fight this douchebag. I won't lose while I'm here. Yes, you will. I have a insanely huge Dragonite. Are these Pokemon stronger than they were during the first fight, or are they just the same ones again? I have no idea. But whatever, it doesn't matter. Uh, I need to be careful that I don't go over on time for this episode. I, I, I was hoping to get everything that I need to get done done, but I don't think I'm going to be able to, especially since I have to gamble for Porygon. Uh, Twister. So, just an off-the-wall guess here, but I'm going to try the Pokemon Mansion for grinding these dudes, just to find something that's a suitable level for Happy Baby. I think Happy Baby can handle these. I might be wrong. Oh, I need to put Owo back in the front. That's okay. Uh, let's do this. And we're gonna versus Secret the Trainers as well, just to see if we can get rematches. Oh, you can't use the damn thing in here. Well. <laughs> Sucks to suck, I guess. On second thought, I don't think I want to do this. <laughs> uh, I don't think I'm going to be advancing fast enough. Let's just go back to Victory Road and grind on stuff there. And, and while we're while we're there, we can uh, try to catch Primate. Okay, I realized at Victory Road that I had no potions, so Happy Baby couldn't really survive in there. So, I have one more level on Owo, and that's gonna be it. So I've decided to take one more trip back to the Pokemon Mansion, just because every time I have to go back to the Pokemon Center, I have to go all the way through those goddamn eight gates again, and it takes fucking forever. So, uh, it's kind of annoying. But we're gonna finish this out real quick. We're gonna get, uh, Owo to evolution level, and then go do the trade. And then from there, we'll go back to Victory Road and see what we can pull off. I bought like 11 potions or something like that with all the money that I have because ideally I'm not going to have to buy any more Pokeballs because all I need to catch now is Primeape and I have like over 10. So hopefully we'll be in good shape. Yeah! Let's go guys! I don't care about Rain Dance. 
I already I already danced this rain dance with the other fucking polywag. Yay! Oh whoa, it's evolving. Let's fucking go. Let's fucking go. Let's fucking go. I'm just adding to the let's go count in this series. Let's fucking go. Let's fucking go. I'm being hypnotized by your spiral. Ride the spiral to the end. We may just go where no one's been. <laughs> it's about time I made a tool reference in this series. How about that? <laughs> okay, let's fly to Cerulean. I was watching my earlier episodes in order to edit the marathon compilation. I got so unreasonably angry at whoever the trainer was that <laughs> that wanted to trade a polywhirl. I think it was this guy. Hello there. Do you happen to have a polywhirl? No, I don't. Hello there. Do you happen to have a polywhirl? I was like, no, because <laughs> I didn't have one. <laughs> Here we go. Bye, Owo. His name's Dante. But it's not an old man name. But okay. Here we go. Goodbye. And hello, it's fucking Jinx. <laughs> the most amazing Pokemon anybody's ever seen. It looks like green Ed base. <laughs> Zinx! That's actually not a bad nickname. I kinda like it. <laughs> it's not Jinx, it's Zinx. <laughs> Take good care of Zinx. Alright, I will. Thanks, you're welcome. <laughs> All right. So now, next we need to get Kadabra to 16, and Ammonite to 40, and Seedra to 32. So, fun. <laughs> uh, I'll meet you guys at Victory Road, I guess. What the fuck? <laughs> I can't put Jinx away unless I remove the mail. <laughs> what the hell? What mail do you have, Zinx? What 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 on earth is this? It's like, oh, I have a letter. Mail. Read. That's a healthy Jinx. Be kind to it from Dante. Thanks. <laughs> what the hell? All right, I'll take it. Yeah, we'll send it to the PC. I was trying to put it in the PC, but you wouldn't let me do it because it was attached to a thing that was going in the PC. What the hell? All right, <laughs> whatever. Let's get, let's get Squiggly out. And we will put Zinx in the box. I would, I would consider using any of these trade Pokemon if they weren't locked on the nickname. Like, that's the only thing. Fuck this game, dude. <laughs> Oh my god. Yes! Yes! Also, this is the first encounter after finally getting into the door to the cave. <laughs> because I keep I keep losing either one of the ones I'm trying to evolve or Happy Baby because the Pokemon are just so strong. Alright, we got Kadabber. You were looking kinda dumb with a finger and a thumb and a weird chocolate star on your forehead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you have confusion, but too bad. We're going back. <laughs> Whoa! Oh my god! Primeape is out here! Uh, oh, okay! <laughs> Shit, um... I need... Okay, Karama, you're up. I haven't seen you in a little bit. We're gonna... Oh, fuck! I would use Happy Baby for this, but I'm very afraid of it dying. Um, let's try Flamethrower. I did not know Primate could be found out here. That makes things so much easier. I don't have to... <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. I can't... Fucking believe that. <laughs> no. <laughs> My one opportunity totally gone to waste. <laughs> really? This game is amazing.
So this never occurred to me. This is Route 23, and it's its own location. And I didn't think to check if Primeape can be found here, but it totally, totally can. Let's see. It can be found with the same odds in the grass, uh, in the same odds as Victory Road, but Victory Road I can only be found on the second floor. So I think we're just going to grind around in this grass until we find it. Because uh, I don't want to keep having to fucking go in there and get my ass handed to me. So let's do that real quick. I should have known too because there's mankeys here. Damn, I don't know why that never occurred to me. Okay. Second chance. And this time I want to go with Heavy Baby. I, I think if I pr if I blah 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 it, then it might not have horrible things happen to it. And my my moves are a little weaker. So let's let's do that. I think Karama was just a bad move there. I don't know if Flamethrower would have taken it out had it not been a critical, but I don't think I care enough to check. <laughs> uh, let's for Dragon Rage. Let's take off 40 of its health. Yeah. And then we'll do the Twister or two. Nice. And we in the red. Seismic Toos. Happy baby is just oh my god, you're still so weak, man. Like I really gotta get it to a Dragonite before the Elite Four, which is gonna suck because it's gonna be like way over leveled over everything else. But I think that's just what we gotta do. I'll use my main team on the regular battles and then have Dragonite be like my last resort. Yes! Fucking Primeape, dude! We're so close, guys! We're almost there! Uh, Primeape. Always furious and tenacious to boot. <laughs> it will not abandon chasing its quarry until it catches up. What? Quarry? Never... Oh, I guess it's who he's having a quarrel with. Alright. <laughs> quarry. <laughs> That's your name. <laughs> cool! Alright, so all that we have left now is... Cedra, Omastar, and Porygon, and Dragonite. Oh, I don't know what the fuck I'm gonna do about Porygon. I think I'm gonna just have to sit down and gamble for it. Oh my lord. Um, I think that's gonna be the move. Next episode of Pokemon Leaf Green, I'm gonna start off by going to the goddamn game corner and seeing what I can pull off. <laughs> Uh, obviously I won't be sitting there and gambling in front of the camera for the entire time, but I think that's what I gotta do, man. I gotta get Porygon before we advance, because we gotta, we gotta grind up Squiggly here, and then Almanite, and that's gonna take forever, so I wanna just kinda do that as we go through Victory Road. Hopefully we can make that happen, um, and we gotta get Happy Baby as many levels as possible. Alright. Much love, everybody. Uh, this was a fun episode, just going around catching them all with a TH. <laughs> uh, yeah, that, that was cool. Uh, we're almost there. We're almost at a full dex, and we're going to get through Victory Road and Challenge the Elite Four very soon. Uh, wow. Uh, this has been a very exciting journey. Um, I'll see you guys next time. 